What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media and welcome to the very first episode of the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire version of CM Strats, where we are going to be taking a look at a specific Pokemon that you've seen on the channel in uh, various Wi-Fi battles, showdown sessions, you know, battle spot episodes, all of those things. Uh, and we're going to be diving into what the moveset is, what the strategy behind it is, why I like to use that specific Pokemon, and any, any potential suggestions if you wanted to make one of your own. If you wanted to breed it, or if you wanted to test it out on Showdown, whatever it may be. We're going to go over EVs, all of that junk. Uh, junk, I meant to say... I don't know what I meant to say, but it wasn't that. I just kind of came out strange. So we're going to go through the whole thing. Today we're looking at Mega Glalie, so that's going to be very exciting. Uh, as we're getting started today, of course, just a friendly reminder, in case you uh, would like to show your support to the channel and the series, feel free to do so by clicking that like button right below this video. You guys always come through with that, and you're amazing. Uh, you can leave a comment uh, down below if you have a suggestion for Pokemon you would like to see featured. Uh, on this series uh, in a future video but for now let's change over to what we're actually going to be looking at here and that is the specific set that is Mega Glalie and oh by the way we also have a little video segment that I'm going to overlay uh, in a little bit so you're not just staring at this graphic the entire time getting bored um, not that I could bore anyone I would never never do that but all right let's take a look here so this is a physical spread that I like to use you can use a fully special spread uh, you can do a mixed spread. I'm going to go over all that, and that's just because um, Mega Glalie's stats are just really conducive to doing whatever you want with them offensively, basically, because it's pretty evenly spread between physical attack and special attack and a decent uh, speed tier of base 100, too. So that's pretty cool. Now, uh, obviously, he's in the RU tier. You can use him in any tier above that if you're going by Smogon rules or if you, I don't know, if you just want to use it on Battle Spot or whatever. That's that. Uh, now, as far as the nature is concerned, because it's only base 100, it's not the fastest thing in the world, so I prefer to go Jolly, which is a positive speed boosting nature. You could go Adamant, or you could go Modest, uh, if you're just going for special attack. Uh, and if you're going to go for a mix set, you're probably going to want Naive or Naughty, depending, uh, or maybe even Rash, if you don't want to go with the uh, positive speed boosting nature. But anyway, Moving on, that is that. The EVs for this particular spread, 252 in speed, 252 in attack, and 4 in defense to help us take priority moves a little bit better. There's no reason to invest those extra 4 EVs um, that we put into defense in HP because that's just, it's not going to help. It'll give you an even number on your HP, which is not good for switching in on Stealth Rock, so we don't want that. Uh, as for the item, of course, it's going to be Glalie's Mega Stone. That's the only thing that you can use to have a Mega Glalie. That's kind of how it works. Then for the ability, Inner Focus does help um, against Fake Out users. So you can absorb the Fake Out and uh, fire off your own attack, which can help you uh, get a free Mega Evolution off, too, in some cases. Uh, so that is that. Of course, after you Mega Evolve, you don't have Inner Focus anymore. You have the Refrigerate ability, which helps turn your normal type moves into ice type moves and boost the power slightly which brings me to my next point return and explosion are the two main moves for this specific set um explosion does ridiculous amounts of damage because it's boosted by refrigerate as i mentioned uh and it has some other uses too which i'll go over return is the main move on the set uh it does a ridiculous amount of damage you could also opt for double edge if you wanted to uh, but unfortunately, the recoil really is not that desirable, and it brings you into a range where you're kind of forced to go for the explosion most of the time. Uh, as I'm pulling up the video segment there, I don't know why now, because why not? So that those are the two main moves that I wanted to go over. Return hits things quite hard. Um, so most of the time, that's what going to be what you're going to go for if you're trying to attack. Explosion, meanwhile, can be used as a makeshift destiny bond, where if you're going to go down that turn anyway, you might as well just go for Explosion. Uh, another use that Explosion has is if you wanted to stop an opponent from going for Rapid Spin or Defog, because both of those moves fail if uh, you're not on the field. You know, the move has no target, it can't be used. So Explosion can be like a spin blocking technique as well. Uh, most of the time, if you use Explosion and your opponent does not resist the attack, it's gonna be KO'd, so. And even without that, as you can see, in that, in that video montage somewhere, there was an explosion against an Azumarill, and it's coming up here. It does so much damage 
and I'm pretty sure this was an Assault Vest Azumarill too. It was ridiculous how much damage it did. Uh, now, Ice Shard is just there for priority. It also gives you Stab. Uh, if you're not interested in that, you can switch it out for several different moves, which I'll go over in a second. And then the final move on the set could be a coverage move, but I like Spikes just because even in 3v3, it has really helped me in a lot of cases, and you'll see it a little bit later on in this little montage where it brought a Ferrothorn and a Mega Venusaur into a range where I could follow up with a KO with Return, not having to go for Explosion to finish anything off, keeping Mega Glalie around. So, uh, and, and in 6v6, spikes are invaluable. So that's pretty much the set that I like to run. Works great for me from what I've used it so far, uh, just in a couple of episodes on the channel, uh, a little bit of testing on Showdown, that's really it. I'm excited to use it even more and experiment with other things as far as the uh, special side is concerned and the mix side and all that stuff. Uh, so, but I haven't gotten to that yet. So, and before I, we even go into that, I just wanted to point out that my sets are just wacky most of the time. This isn't that crazy, but some of them are really out there, kind of bizarre. Not always the best thing to do if you're a complete beginner, you're just, you know, trying to get a hold of competitive battling. And they're not always the best sets either. Some of them require a ridiculous amount of uh, predictions and all that other kind of stuff. So. Just a fair warning, it's not the best thing in the world always, but it's just stuff that I like to use, and I'm just sharing it with you guys. Now, as for the moves that we have on there, there are some other ones that you could throw in, and I'm just going to list some of the more obvious ones. Uh, Freeze Dry would be great to take on Water-type Pokemon. Uh, if you wanted to go mix, you probably could even just keep Jolly if you wanted to. I know it's a minus, minus special attack nature, but it could still be useful for taking on water type Pokemon in general. Uh, Ice Beam could be used if you want a little bit more power, but it lacks the utility of going up against water type Pokemon effectively, so I wouldn't recommend that. But it is possible if you're going the special route. Uh, Super Fang could be exceptionally useful to bring things uh, switching in that you normally couldn't hit for too much damage, like Scizor, uh, down to half of their HP. Earthquake is really good coverage alongside uh, Refrigerate and Return. Um, so yeah, because it does hit Steel types, and Steel types are a problem for this set. And lastly, that I had on my list was Taunt, because a base 100 speed Pokemon going for Taunt is fantastic. You can outspeed most things, stop them from either uh, rapid spinning or defogging or uh, recovering their health, any of those things. Taunt is great, especially if you're using this in RU. If you don't have something on your team that has Taunt in RU, you're most likely going to run into stalling problems, uh, especially higher up on the ladder. And the last thing that I wanted to go over, because I don't want this video to be way, way long, because I could, I could talk and babble on for like 15 minutes, but we're going to try to keep it somewhat short. Last but not least, we're going to go over some partners that could potentially work well with Mega Glalie if you're trying to build a team around it. If you're going to use a... Uh, Mega Glalie on a higher tiered team, you can use a Pokemon like Magnezone, but if you're using it in RU, uh, I suggest going with Magneton, with Magnet Pull, because you can trap Steel-type Pokemon like Durant that Glalie can't really hit. Uh, Earthquake, most of the time, is not going to be carrying them in one hit, and something like Iron Head or Gyro Ball from a Dewblade uh, is going to take you out, so you need something they can trap them and get rid of them. Magneton is great for that with HP Fire. Uh, Dewblade, as I mentioned, is another great partner because it's a good spin blocker and it resists a lot of physical type moves that could give Glalie some trouble. Um, so yeah, mostly fighting type moves, which it's completely immune to. Uh, rock type moves, steel type moves, Dewblade is great for all of that and it's just, it's a benefit, an extra bonus that uh, he's immune to rapid spin as well. So that's that. Then we also have uh, rapid spinners, which are great partners for Mega Glalie, just in general. Uh, Hitmonlee is a good one in RU. Uh, what am I thinking of? Oh yeah, Hitmontop, that's another one. Um, and the benefit of Hitmonlee too is that he also has knockoff, which can help you out. Uh, so that's a good partner. And then just sweepers in general, because they generally appreciate when spikes are on the field. It helps bring opponents down into a range where uh, either their focus sash or sturdy is not intact, or just into a range where something that's not super effective can KO them. So there you go. Those are all the good basic partners. 
that would be decent with Mega Glalie, and that's basically how I constructed some of the teams that I've used them on so far. That's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, I think I'm going to call it an episode here, being that we are 10 minutes deep already anyway, as I'm like burping as I'm talking now, it's how you know you need to stop. Uh, so, in the comment section down below, feel free to uh, leave any suggestions that you guys have on Pokemon you would like to see uh, in this series. Pokemon you've seen on the channel, not Pokemon that I'm just coming up with random sets for. It, I want something that is tested. Uh, that you've seen work on the channel because I don't want to advocate something that I'm not, you know, completely sure about that at least can put in some work for you guys. Uh, also, there should be a link in the description down below or two links in the description down below uh, to the actual video of Glalie doing things that it's supposed to be doing, uh, like what you saw that compilation from. So uh, if you guys want to go check that out, you can. I'm trying to think what else I missed. I haven't done one of these videos in so long. I think that's pretty much it. Go ahead and put your suggestions down in the comment section. Uh, check out the videos if you would like to see Mega Glalie in action. You can also go ahead and check out uh, Smogon's website. They always have great suggestions uh, if you're kind of stuck on some extra things that you want to put on your team or into the set or whatever. And that's pretty much all I have to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode thingamajiggy if you did please make sure uh, you were leaving a like rating or the comment as i just mentioned like 500 times and i will see you all next time but until then game on <laughs>